and the facilities that are hosting as well. Cover all the players today, God. Let them be injury free, but let us have fun. But most of all, let us come together for the purpose of one, to learn what you've got us to do today, God. Let us take care of bread, bread of our bodies, God. And these are your temples that you gave us, God. So today is the pastor's minister's basketball game. Uh, your pastors and your ministers are leaders in the community and we would like them to take the lead in getting our men to be more active, uh, meet their doctor's appointments, eat better, just the whole overall picture of men's health. If we can get men to take one message away from today, that would be be active, stay knowledgeable. And what I mean by that is you don't have to go join a gym and pump up like the bodybuilders you see in magazines on TVs, you can take a walk, you can ride a bike, you can join, um, go to your local rec center, the YMCA. They all have programs that you can take part of. I think men fall into the category of being responsible, being the providers, being the uh, protectors, uh, and they sometimes push their health to the side. Uh, when your wife or your girlfriend or your mom or your sister pushes you to go to the doctor. You always get, okay, I'll go, I'll go. But I think now it's becoming more serious that men pay attention to their health. We have Spanish liaison, we have the parenting path, we have dedicated medical, dedicated senior medical, we have the drive program from the DA's department, uh, and you, ha you have posse out here if you want to know your status. We have men hire your numbers, that's what my t-shirt says, uh, and that is a nine-week program where I may go to a rec center, I may, wherever I'm asked to be, that's where I'll show up and I get a, give a nine-week session on chronic illnesses. We also have Men Talk Too, that's the first Tuesday of every month. Uh, we meet at Carver Library in the auditorium from 6 to 7 p.m. And we talk about mainly three topics, uh, community, men's health, and dad and son relationships. <laughs>